G'day Puppet Watchers, welcome to my broken washing machine. Fisher and Paykel Smart Drive 9 Pride 5.5 with all the buttons. What's happening? Water is just running into it. It's not shutting off. All the lights are flashing, noises are going off. Okay, so we're going to do a diagnostics. We're going to diagnose it. One way we can diagnose it is, is it the water valves or is it the motherboard? Reverse the valves around. Does the problem continue? Run it on a cycle. Put it on a low wash, cold, start. Let it fill up. Does it shot, stop, shut down? If it does, you know it was the valve. If it doesn't, you know it was the motherboard. So this is how we do it. Disconnect from power. You do not want water and power mixing. Turn off taps. Remove from taps. Take it off the back. You just unscrew this. If it doesn't do it, get a little bit of help. Get it done. It might just have a crud on it. This should spin freely. Not this. Just this bit. So you undo that. Watch out, water leakage goes everywhere when you take things off. So you just, that's my cold one. Just hang it around the tap. You can mark it cold and hot so you don't get your hoses mixed up. First thing you do on this machine, you do not need to remove the lid. This is the, what is it, the MW. 059 AU, AU4 Australia. So we remove two screws from the back. Then we lift gently. Now this should just lift up. If it doesn't, it's just a bit stuck with crud. Just give it a little gentleness. You'll see those heavy wires. This is your motherboard. It does not like to get wet. To put it right out of the way. This we don't touch. Screw here, don't touch. This is what we're doing. We're going to turn these two around because I've only ever used the cold. I've never used the hot. You still have to have your hot and your cold, your hot hose connected to your tap, tap not turned on because you do get leakage through them. So when you do take your taps off, make sure you just got a bit of that to dry it up. Got two screws to undo first. That's these ones here. So water valve or motherboard? Motherboard. Replace machine. Water valves. Just replace the water valves. Put them in there. Now you've got another screw in there. Don't take that out just yet. Remove this first. This just pulls up. It might be a little bit stuck if it's been in there for a while with a bit of crow. Okay, it comes up. So it goes back in that way. So taking it out that way, put it back in. So just put it down there. So you can put it back in like that. Let's see if you get the orientation right. Now you can take your center one out. Now, this is a water reservoir, so there may be water, so allow for a little bit of leakage, so have a rag or something to do your mop up, you don't want water going everywhere. Down in this side is the outlet hole, so that's where the water is coming out of the reservoir. 
So what I tried in do was just angle it. Now you might need to just give it a little bit and then tilt it up so it doesn't go everywhere and sort of tilt it down like that so the water drips into that. Get rid of this. Ready to go. So it doesn't leak everywhere. So you can get these off. Now you can mark cold and hot so you don't get these mixed up. Remember what we want to do is reverse these, switch these around so that we can ascertain whether it is the water valve or something else. Now this here has a little nib that you push down and then this slides forward. In case that's not a pull up, it's a slide in, slide out. Colour coded. Blue cold, red hot. You might be able to get your nail in there and get that out. So now we have, take this over to the sink in case it leaks anymore. So that's our water valve. Is that hot? That's our cold. Now these look like they've got a thread on them, but they're not. They're a press fit. So you just, if you need to, just do some gentle levering up to free it up. Because remember, they could have been in there for a while. And they slide into it, so that just slides up. So slides down. Slides in. That's one. That's two. Swapping them around. That's what we're doing. We're doing a diagnostic. Okay, that just goes in like ah. This one slides in like that. Just press fit. Snug. That's what it looks like at the bottom. That's that outlet hole. Now we just reverse it. Okay, take it over. Going in like that. Don't get your wire stuck. Just a little. It seats in that hole nicely. That should be fine. First thing we do, let's put that screw back in. too tight just enough to keep it snug so that is now held in position so now we can just do this put our wires back these only go in a certain way they've got some color on the end which shows it goes in that way so it's going up like that let's feel it snug let's feel it snug and that's it connected Let's grab our, going in that way, going down that way. It has its own little home, which we fit into. Push it down, flex in. Grab our screws. Have to do them too tight, you hear it snap. Although well, you've done them too tight, you crack the plastic. Okay, then just make sure our wires are out of the way. Don't want any crush issues. I'm going to grab our motherboard, line it up. Make 
you I was on getting stuck in the grooves. Things go in. Pop that back on while I have the screws. That's done. So, plug yourself back in. Put your hoses back on. So, put your hot hose on the cold. Put your cold hose on the hot because we have reversed the valves around. Always hook up your hot hose even if you're not using the hot because the valve does leak water. So it's got to have somewhere to sit. Put some thread around that, plumber's tape, hook up your tap, turn it on. Start your machine, put it on cold, a low setting, go. Wait for it to fill up. If it then stops and goes through the rest of its cycle, you know that it was your valve that was doing the problem. If it doesn't, then you know it was your motherboard. That's it. So what you can then do is reverse your process of everything. And pull it all apart again. Watch out because your reservoir tank inside will now be full of water. So make sure that you control any drippage. Remember you don't want it to go over the electronics. And then what this enables you to do is to then get the part number off of these things. Take it into the shop or buy your own, whatever you need. When you go to install your new ones, remember you have reversed these. So make sure your hot goes on your hot and your cold goes on your cold. Cold, when the back is to you, is to the right. Hot is to the left. Thanks for watching everyone. What are valves?